one of the absolute biggest plants in our university gardens, the State Botanical Gardens of Tennessee, Metasequoia glyptostroboides, the dawn redwood, which is this pyramidal conifer behind me, and a special class of conifers, deciduous conifers, a real gem in the home landscape if you've got the room for it. So this is quite a large tree, and here I've got one of the branches in my hand with all of the foliage. Uh, and if you look closely, and as you uh, come and take a closer look at this plant, you're going to see that the foliage of Dawn Redwood or Metasequoia is oppositely arranged. It comes right off of uh, its, itself on the branch. Now, very feathery, fine textured foliage uh, that really completely cascades around this tree, a conical shape. Now, this plant is hardy from zones 5 through 9, and it gets quite large, 90, maybe even 100 foot in its native habitat and you know about 40 foot wide so this is a plant that you definitely need a lot of uh, space and room to grow in your home landscape uh, the, f the texture of it is very fine uh, and then as you come and you look at the bark of this tree i recommend that you kind of give it a push and a little bit of a squeeze because it does have a little bit of a sponginess to the bark nice brilliant red bark uh, that is actually has a little bit of a fire resistant quality to it uh, so a quite nice plant uh, very large in the garden uh, and another thing is that it's quite quick growing it grows very fast as a young plant uh, in particular in its first 10 years it can shoot up to 25 or 30 foot tall in its first 10 years and so it really does uh, bring a very quick uh, big landscape tree to to uh, any garden or park or wherever you put this plant uh, but it's one that definitely should be considered uh, for the home landscape in larger areas And here's a landscape tip for this plant. Beautifully, beautifully planted in groves or singly. Good for wet sites, true fossil tree. Beautiful planted in groves or singly. Good for wet sites, true fossil tree.